Well, hi there, everyone. Patty Coloca Masso, your health insurance specialist here. I am so excited to have Dan Brown with me today. Thank you for carving some of your time today to uh, speak to me and to speak to our community. I am so excited you're here with us. Absolutely. It's great to be here and thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. So let's just jump right in, right? We have no time to waste. And I, you know, I always think that it takes a certain level of tenacity, right, to become a lawyer and to do what you do. But I still want to hear from you. Why did you decide to become an attorney? Absolutely. So you're true in that it does take some tenacity to be a lawyer. Um, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes about six, seven years of schooling after high school. But um, so you certainly want to be committed. A little bit about me. I'm actually born and raised uh, in St. Petersburg. I went to law school at Stetson University College of Law in the St. Petersburg area. And I started practicing in that area. Now I had the opportunity though, to join Carlos Sanchez here in Central Florida in the Orlando area to form Sanchez and Brown. So we've been kicking it strong ever since, since I joined him. We've been helping clients, working hard. Um, I love being a lawyer and I love helping people get results. So we don't represent businesses. We don't represent insurance companies. We represent the everyday person um, for their car accidents and everything like that. So it's been a great opportunity since. That's why I love being a lawyer and uh, really just love the opportunities that have come my way. I, I love it. And one of the things that always comes to mind is, and you've said it a couple times already, um, why? Okay, so you're not representing insurance companies, you're not representing big businesses, you're representing people. Uh, now, why would someone want to hire an attorney uh, like you in this case? The key thing to understand is that when you're in a car accident, everybody is out for their self-interest, including your insurance company. So the insurance company of the person who hits you, the insurance company or your own insurance company, they all have a bottom line to me. They still have to make a profit by the at the end of the day, right? Sure. So a lot of people, they get in car accidents and they think, oh, I have good insurance. They're going to take care of me. But what they don't realize is that they very well may be missing out on thousands upon thousands of dollars because their insurance company is going to take advantage of them. When you hire a personal injury attorney, they're the only entity that is looking out for your interests when you're in a car accident. So it's not uncommon for an insurance company. They might want to give you, you know, 2000 bucks to settle your case. But when you get an attorney, that 2000 could turn to 20, 30, 50,000. You just never know. It, it is night and day when you hire a personal injury attorney um, and more importantly, a competent attorney and in a, in a good law firm. So you certainly want to do your research. You don't want to go it alone when you're hurt in a car accident. Yeah, that, that's so important. When I hear you speak, you know, I resonate so much with what you're saying because in our world, that's what we tell our clients too, right? Like I, I am licensed and appointed to work with the insurance carrier. I don't work for the government. I really work for you. So it's that impartial entity, right? That is going to advocate for that Absolutely. individual that needs it the most. That's fantastic. Now, another cool thing, you know, that I think about is like, okay, so we have people that, you know, get into a car accident, they do absolutely nothing and they just kind of settle and do whatever, you know, they know what to do. They call the agent, you know, the insurance agent or the agency and that's kind of- Well, here's the thing. You gotta be very careful with those big billboard attorneys. The reason is that they're, these places, they're like metropolises. In your case, well, it's going to be like an assembly line. It's going to, you're going to be one little cog in a factory, you know, so you want to be super careful with that. I've had people hire big law firms previously, and they've even stated, look, I, I went with this massive law firm that I saw on a billboard. I didn't talk to my attorney one time during the entire course of the case. And they weren't even really that satisfied with the results. So when it comes to attorneys, you really want to be uh, comfortable with who you hire. You want to be able to meet with them face to face. Your attorney should know your name. They should know your family. So when I sign up my clients, I actually often go to their houses and I'll sit at their dining room table. I'm able to see them, where they live, how they act, what they do. I'm able to see their family. And uh, that's the major benefit you're going to get with hiring a more smaller law firm instead of these 
massive uh, corporations who are just uh, looking to settle these cases very quick so they can, they can meet their bottom line. So that's just a few things to consider. Um, you get a, a, an awesome benefit of having a small firm, yet an effective law firm that can still get results. No, I, I love what you said because you're actually really getting to know these people. Like you said, you're getting to know their families. You, you really get to know more about what's going on in their lives so you can really better represent them. So that's why I think that's the, the real superhero in my world, in my eyes, and in the community. So I think that is so important. Now, I want to know more, and I know people that are listening to this or watching this, um, uh, they need to know about your personal brand. Why so unique? And, uh, and how that, you know, how do you translate that you, what you do into your job or your, your daily, you know, operations? Yeah. So I'm known as the juggling lawyer. So I may believe it or not on top of being licensed to practice law, I'm a professional juggler. I used to compete, um, in these high end competitions. I've been on national television, ESPN, several of these things. Now I'm not here trying to brag per se, but it's, I'm trying to tell <laughs> I know you, you here, are, just kidding. <laughs> right. I'm trying to tell you though, that juggling is a major component of my life. I still practice it quite regularly. Um, and I, I just try to be the best at it. Um, so I have the brand called the juggling lawyer and I love it because it contrasts two totally different things that you'd think about, right? Juggling is more lighthearted, more fun, and lawyering is not so much fun. When we think of lawyers, we tend to not think of that, but my goal is to bring those two things together and have this social media brand that can show people, hey, lawyering can be fun. We can be serious with our cases, but at the same time, hey, I'm a human behind the lawyer at the end of the day. Um, so we wanna, we're here to educate, entertain a little bit, and have some fun here uh, with the juggling lawyer. I, I, I so love that because I think a lot of individuals are afraid, okay, when you say, oh, I'm going to talk to my lawyer or I need to talk to a lawyer. Oh, my God. So I think it really breaks the ice and it just makes people say, well, wait a minute. This is a human being. Like you said, it's a person and he also knows how to balance life. It's not all about being super serious all the time. You know? Right. So, which, you know, you need both. We need balance in life. So with... Um, I think that's all I got for you. Anything you want to tell everybody? How do they find you? How do they contact you? I know you have social media. I know you're on, um, obviously, you got your website. Anything you want to announce today? Absolutely. So I have a bunch of social media. We obviously have the law firm website, but I'll make it really easy for your viewers. Simply go to jugglinglawyer.com. And on that website, you're going to see a bunch of links to my social media so you can stay updated with me. Um, and a contact phone number and everything like that so you can reach out to me um, if you ever need to talk for really any reason. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Dan. I loved it. You have a wonderful weekend. And again, stay tuned, guys. We're going to be posting more of these videos in a little bit. So thank you.